What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we have an exciting new update in Black Ops 3. There are a ton of new esports team themed camos that were added in to the game. So we kind of knew this was coming a couple of weeks ago, we got that CWL camo that went live and then was quickly removed from Black Ops 3. So we knew something was up, something was on the way, and that something came today. There are 17 new camos in the game all based around the teams in the COD World League Championships. COD Champs coming up soon. So uh, you guys can see in the store under the eSports pack section, there are three new options. It's split up into three different packs. There's the North American team pack, the European team pack, and then the Australia and New Zealand team pack. So uh, a total of 17 new camos. And these things are gorgeous, as you guys can see on screen right here. So I'm showing you guys some of the North American team camos in-game. I think they look fantastic. I think they're really, really just... It's clean. Like, I think it looks good. Some look a little bit better than others. So you'll notice the teams like Envy, Elevate, Rise, even Optic all kind of have that dull, boring background. They're like grayish black. They do have the team logos on there, and they've got the team color trim, but there's not a lot to like the vibrance of the weapon. Whereas other teams like FaZe and Cloud9 have a lot of colors on their gun, which I think looks a little bit better, but uh, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the teams and all of the camos that were added in to the game. So uh, we're in the crew class screen here. We've got the M887. It's got a lot of kind of surface area to be able to see the camo on. And we're gonna start off here with North American team. So we've got Rise. Next up is Optic Gaming. Then there's FaZe Clan. You guys can see it just it has a lot more kind of like color and vibrance to it. Next up, we've got Team Envy. We've got Elevate. We've got Cloud9, which again has a lot of color on the weapon, which I really like. Moving into the European teams, we've got Supremacy, Splice, Millennium, Team LDLC, Team Infused, and then last but not least, Epsilon, of course. And then moving into the final section, we've got the Australian and New Zealand teams, Tainted Minds, Orbit GG, Envy, Mind Freak, and Excellence. So uh, there you guys have it. Man, I, just, I, I think these things look super awesome, and I'm super, super psyched about this upcoming weekend at COD Champs. You guys better believe I'm gonna bring you guys some vlogs. I can't wait to be able to check out Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered and stuff like that, but I'm also really excited to see what comes of the finale of the COD World League. COD Champs, there's so much money on the line. All these teams are gonna be playing for life-changing money, and it's just cool to see Call of Duty Esports grow like it has in the past couple of years. So uh, anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which new camo is your favorite down in the comments. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.